Hey there, Match Masters fans. Time to buckle up because it's time to rock and roll with our community members in today's Meet the Community segment. I'm your host with the most, Hunter, and today we've got an all-star lineup of fabulous players and some of our rock star Facebook and Discord moderators. Get ready as they spill the beans on their wildest Match Masters adventures and experiences with new modes in the game. Everyone, hang on tight, because this is gonna be one epic show. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And if you wanna connect with other Match Masters enthusiasts, be sure to check out our active social and Discord channels through the links below. But enough from me. Let's welcome the real stars of today's show, some of our community members. Joining us, we have Liz, Mays, Sabi, and Chris. And whether they're moderators and admins on our Discord or Facebook, or passionate players with vast Match Masters knowledge, they help keep our community safe and most important, fun. Let's start by getting to know each other and them a little better. Welcome Mays, Liz, Sabi, Chris. Can you each tell us a little bit about yourselves? A few things you wanna know, where you're joining us from, things you enjoy when you're not playing Match Masters, and how long have you been a part of this community? Hello, Match Masters lovely community out there. You, you crazy people. Uh, I'm Chris, I'm from the UK. Yeah, so I've been playing Match Masters for three years. Unfortunately, I'm a bit scared at this minute in time because I've got all these Discord moderators here. Um, and that ain't me, I'm just a, I'm just a little VIP. Yeah, so I have to be careful what I say, otherwise they're going to boot me, yeah. I think I've only been like a VIP for about a couple of months now, probably about three months, four months. So yeah, that's me basically. Hello, I'm Xavi. Um, I'm joining from Germany. When I not play Match Masters, I'm listening to music and meet my friends. Um, I'm playing Match Masters uh, since two years, a little bit more. I'm moderator on Discord, like Maze, and since last year in August, I'm admin. I am from Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. I have a wonderful husband and a almost three-year-old little boy who takes up all of my time. I am a stay-at-home mom, and that's pretty much what I do for fun. I run around the table constantly, <laughs> chasing a little monster. <laughs> I've only been playing about a year. Um, I became a moderator uh, probably about three or four months ago. There's a lot that goes into it, but it's also very rewarding. You get to meet a lot of nice people and have fun. Okay, so hello. I am Miles. Uh, I am part of this amazing community for two and a half years right now. I am also moderator on Discord. Uh, I became a mod uh, in January this year. And uh, also thanks to Sabi, who is admin on Discord, uh, I bring Czech channel to Discord. So I'm so thankful to her and also our boss and all our amazing uh, mods team. Well, it is so, so great to have you all here with us today. And from all over the world, it's honestly so cool. Now let's jump to one of our Facebook mods, Liz. Can you talk to us a little bit about what initially drew you to the game? The graphics compared to all of the other ones that I have played, nothing compares. And then I think what kept me in was my team, just the people that you meet through the community and the relationships that you build. It's just can't beat it. Um, my son loves to watch me play. <laughs> he actually loves to tap any of the boxes that pop up just to see what he gets and he gets super excited. It, once they start popping up, he does a little dance. <laughs> it's pretty comical. <laughs> He's actually sleeping right now, so can't demonstrate. I mean, it really is fun for the whole family. You're right. Okay, so Maze, you're a moderator on the Match Masters Discord. How did you get involved with that and what do you enjoy most about the community? Uh, I became a, a moderator just because so many people from Czech uh, complaining to me that uh, there is not, that they don't understand English quiz, they don't understand English tournaments, they don't understand at all. And they still coming to me and I was like, okay, I will try it. So I, I come to Sabi, then I come to Heather and thanks to them, uh, they opened uh, our amazing Czech channel. So this is how I became a moderator of Discord. So glad that Matchmasters was able to connect you guys. It's really, really amazing. 
All right, and Sabi, what has been your experience as an admin on our Discord page? There wasn't many German moderators and I was super active on the group. So I reached out to matchmasters to ask to help and become a moderator. And Chris, you've been playing matchmasters for a while now, right? But I know you're an avid gamer. So you've been a part of a few different online communities, right? Now, I'm curious to know, what makes the Match Masters community stand out to you? What, what makes Match Masters stand out for me personally is the, the different variety of everybody that plays the game, like their different personalities. You have some people that can be good, some people that can be bad. There's so many different communities, you know what I mean? Like the way that people speak, learning things, like, like for instance, when, when other people need help, I help them. That's, that's, why, that's the other reason why I joined Discord was to actually help people. Um, but the reason why I still still play it now, one, because I like the solo, and two, because I've got like a little group of people now that I, that I get on with, that I socialize with from around the world. So literally all over the place. I enjoy it. Thanks, Chris, and thank you everyone for sharing your experiences with us. Oh, oh, you know what that sound means. It's time for our trivia toss up you're each going to have 15 seconds to answer a trivia question that will appear on the screen. And if you answer it correctly, you're going to receive 500 coins in game. Question one, when was the booster woolly workout introduced into the game? A, April of 2019, B, April of 2020, C, April 2021, or D, April 2022? If people don't guess April, we're going to have a problem. Okay, the votes are in, and the correct answer is... It's supposed to be some sort of drum roll. B, April 2020. Maze, wow, you were the only one who got that one right. Nice, nice job. Now that we've survived that trivia toss-up, let's talk about some exciting features and modes. All right, now who here has had the chance to play our new Mutation Ooh. PvP? Yes. All right, now Chris, can you kick it off for us and tell us about your experience playing this new mode? This mode? Oh, it's absolutely brilliant in all fairness. Like, uh, so for me, like, I, I love mutations anyway. So when it went to that, I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. And surprise, surprise, my first booster that I used in it was Woolly Workout. Woolies and Cobras are the main two, in my opinion, that can literally destroy anybody. Excellent. Now, how has your strategy evolved, Liz, when playing this mode compared to the other mode? I am obsessed. That's the only mode that I play for player versus player now. I just love how it's constantly changing. It's never the same, so you don't know what to expect going into each round. Um, one thing that I have found interesting is boosters that you use in the solos don't always do so well in the player versus player mode. Ah, thank you for those incredible insights. I'm honestly, I've been taking some mental notes for later. Sabi or Maze, did you have anything you wanted to add on to that? So mutations now for me are much better in PvP than in uh, solos and uh, you have to think fast so your brain is not sleepy so much and uh, actually I won so many games that I didn't want so long time so I'm so happy that it came. Uh, this is something new for me, uh, I like it and it's, it's very good for us <laughs> right now. <laughs> Couldn't agree more with you all. Now we're going to go around and ask one more question for this segment. The people want to know. What would be your best strategy tip for winning a round in the game? Steal their colors. <laughs> that's actually, that's a, a quite common one. They'll try and steal their colors just to try and make sure that the other person can't activate their booster or to make them use their perks early on. Um, I'm guilty of it, especially if I'm up against, like if I have a smaller booster. Another thing is you look for extra moves. You get to be quick on your feet. You have to look for extra moves. 
play with your favorite booster and don't give up right away at the beginning. Mm, I use my perks sometimes before the last round. Uh, first of all, I would say that don't be uh, open your mind and you can uh, always learn from better players. You can open YouTube, you can come to Discord on live stream, maybe on Facebook. You can always learn from each other because many skills that I used in game I learned from from so many people that were online uh, in Discord and I saw them how they played. So this is maybe my advice. Uh, sometimes it's good to leave your move because there are like uh, three reds and he still doesn't have fill his booster. So if you will leave the board like it is, there is like zero chance he will fill up the booster. So sometimes just leave it alone. <laughs> Yeah, just let the other person make mistakes because most people like to use their perks in the first round, unfortunately. Um, they, people like to use their perks in the first round. It's like, unfortunately, don't do it. Don't do it. In all fairness, don't use stars. Unless it's five colors, don't use stars. You're not gonna, you're not gonna win. But yeah, yeah, for me, it's just like, no, no, no. You don't have to use your perks first round. If you use your perks first round, nine times out of ten, you'll lose. Thank you all for sharing your insight, strategies, and experiences with us. We have one more trivia question for you before you go. When Brocco Boogie is activated more than once in a round, how many disco balls does he throw onto the board the second time? A, zero, B, one, C, two, and D, three. And the answer is C2. So that's 500 coins for all of you. Wow, you all got that right. I'm, I'm very impressed. Now, before we wrap up, let's give away some prizes to our viewers. Everyone comment down below for a chance to win exclusive Matchmasters goodies. We're gonna randomly select a few lucky winners to receive awesome prizes like SE boosters, piñatas, or coins, so don't miss out on these goodies. And that's a wrap for this half of our Meet the Community. Make sure to be on the lookout for the next episode where these friendly faces will face off for a chance to win big. Thank you again to our guests, Liz, Mays, Sabi, and Chris, for joining us today and sharing your stories. Really, really cool to hear. And of course, a big thank you to all of you, our viewers and our community members, because without you, none of this is possible. We'll see you next time. Until then, Hunter out. Happy matching. Booster ready.